God is within her. She will not fail. God will help her at break of day. And I wrote my reflection because I'm terrible at public speaking, so. <laughs> to embark on a journey in the field of nursing is one of a kind. Mine began actually when we went on that Philippines medical mission back in July 2011. It was my first medical mission, but not my first time going to the Philippines. And I went with my mom. And at the time, I was still in high school, so I haven't really explored the realm of nursing yet or really knew what it was about until um, it was being surrounded by these dedicated nurses, some of them sitting here today, that I actually began to get inspired to one day emulate the same passion and care that these nurses did while I was on this trip with them. I was really blessed, my mom being one of the nurses there, to um, be surrounded by their, um, their presence. It was very inspiring, and that's when I knew I wanted to pursue nursing. So during my four years in nursing school, I learned that this profession is not just simply dispensing medications, or analyzing labs, charting, or dressing changes. That, to me, was only the surface to begin with. In between procedures, recovery periods, and preparing patients for discharges, as nursing students, we were given countless opportunities to connect with our patients on a much deeper level. We're taught that the process of healing is a holistic process in which we care for the human as a, the patient as a human being, meaning mentally, physically, and spiritually. But I've also come to understand that the healing power of God is beyond our capacity. Nothing can compare to his healing. I believe that God blessed me with this gift, the gift to nurture. I do believe that this is my calling, and for me, it's the profession in which I'm able to radiate God's love through the work that I do. The road to get there was definitely not easy. <laughs> there were never-ending hours of studying in the library, driving back and forth to clinical to end clinical. And then I had a job at the same time, I worked per diem, so I was working like two to three days a week at the same time trying to make it to all my classes. But through all of that, there was one point in time when I actually failed a class, and at that point, it was, it was my lowest point. Um, I was re really ashamed to talk about it, I was really embarrassed, and at first I thought that was like the end for me. I wasn't able to pursue nursing after failing this class, but and there was many nights when I found myself both physically and emotionally exhausted, wondering if this was even like the profession that I was supposed to be pursuing. And there was times when doubt would definitely press its weight upon my shoulders, and I would question if I'd ever be able to amount to the nurse that I aspired to be, like my mom. And that's where my life verse that I said in the beginning comes in. And whenever these waves of like fear and doubt would crash over me, I would just think about this verse and it would keep me afloat. And even after a bombing exam, failing a class, or having a rough day at work or clinical, God has always been faithful in allowing me to wake up the next morning and continue my nursing journey. So as hard as it was, and as um, sad as I was at some point, thinking I would never be able to get through nursing school, I somehow ended up graduating with honors and being accepted into Sigma Theta Tau, which was definitely I didn't think I was able to accomplish it. I didn't think I was capable of doing anything like that in nursing school, as hard as, hard as it was. I didn't even know if I was going to pass at the beginning, so <laughs> accomplishing that was definitely a blessing from God. But all of my successes are not my own. I definitely have God to thank for bringing me to this part of my journey, having graduated a month ago. And I'm also thankful for everyone that has kept me in their prayers, like all my Ninongs, Ninongs, friends and family that are here. Like, thank you so much. It means so much. And I definitely wouldn't have been able to make it this far without all of you. And um, to my friends that had to deal with me venting, who probably even had no idea what I was talking about when I was talking about nursing, <laughs> thanks for listening anyway. Um, thank you for being there and supporting me through all of these years. And to my family, who I owe so much to, I don't want to cry, but um, <laughs> we really have been through a lot, and as hard as it was, you were always there for me, and through all my nursing endeavors, and like, I have so much to owe to you guys, like, <laughs> it, was, it was through them, and their support, everything that has gotten me to get through this point of 
where I am in nursing. And I hope to make you guys proud once I pass that in class and get my license. Yes. <laughs> but um, without all of your love and prayers, I wouldn't be able to stand here today and share my reflection with you guys. So thank you so much for um, helping me get to this point. And I'm, hopefully I stop crying after I sit down. So <laughs> thank you everyone so much. Thank <laughs> you.